Welcome to Friday Night Softball at Andy Moore Field for Indiana Softball's last home series of the 2024 season. I'm Amanda Foster here alongside Emma Watson in the booth with Sydney Parrish down on the sidelines as the Hoosiers get ready to take on the Wisconsin Badgers in what should be an exciting Friday night matchup. Avery Parker behind the dish, catching Copeland. Shallow pop-up. Oh, and that ball is gone. Came off the bat, went up high. That's a leadoff home run for the Badgers. That ball just traveled right out to left field. And we've got the score going quickly, Emma. Yeah, that kind of ball kind of confused us here in the press box because <laughs> it really was taken by the win. You know, Copeland tried to go up and inside against Gerardo, and Gerardo just said, nah, I'm going to have all of that and send it right over the left field wall and give the Badgers their much needed win or much needed, uh, much needed lead so far this game. She certainly fooled me with that one. Skied up, incoming the center fielder, and she'll make the grab. Cassidy Kettleman, responsible for recording the first out of this first inning for the Hoosiers. Blomberg batting 337. She skies this one, drifting over down the right field line. Over is Andrews, and she makes the basket catch for out number two in foul territory. Aliyah Andrews, senior on this team, she's been so stellar in that right. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the top of the first for the Badgers as they hold a 1-0 lead over Indiana. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Copeland retires her, and the Hoosiers head to the dugout. Down just on Andy Moore Field. Turned into a nice night for softball. And a big cut and a miss from Copeland. She heads back to the dugout. What a pitch from Salo. Absolutely nasty off-speed pitch there to, to have an answer for you, because I think she does everything. Cut and a miss, lined up, center, up into center field. And Taylor Bennett gets on base with a single. 0-2 cut and a miss by Stone for out number two. Once again, Salo just taking full control of that at bat. Parker leads the team in home runs with 13. Chopper over to second base, picked up by Hubbard and easily tossed over to Gerardo for out number three. The Hoosiers get a runner on, but they are unable to capitalize. As the Badgers hold the lead here, you're watching. Why didn't you catch it, Emma? You know, I left my mid at home. Okay. Mm, 3 2 cut and a miss for out number one here in the top of the second. Two 0 pitch lined out into left field, easily snagged by Minnick to record the second out of the inning. 3-2 pitch, ball four, and Bark will head down to first base. Some O's from the Hoosier faithful here in the crowd. A beautiful Friday night. And the one-two lined over to second base, picked up by Van Brant, she fires it over to Stone for a quick and easy third out. So the Badgers get on the board. team, you know, she started out playing in center field, and then they moved her to second base, and she's made some highlight reel, but took that took their strike there. Called strike three down at the knees. Those ones are tough on the inside edge, especially from a not swing at those off speeds, you would think. Chopper over to second base, picked up by Hubbard, fired over to first for out number two. You talk about as a hit. And the one, two, a chopper this time over to shortstop, picked up by Cusack, and she fires over. First baseman called off the bag, and Andrews will stay on first base, and the Hoosiers stay alive here in the bottom of the second. An uncharacteristic play for the Seer in action for the first time here on Friday night. Quick little swing, toss over to second base, Cusack to Hubbard to record the third out of the inning. So Andrews gets on the base. Hoosiers can't capitalize once again. Elster Dash, and he steps into the box. She takes ball one from Brianna Copeland. As we're here in the top of the third, lines one out over into center. Over ranging is Kettleman. She makes the grab for out number one. Now oh, Copeland's coming back right at her in the middle of the zone, a little bit down. And there's a pitch up in the zone, and it gets her swinging. For out number two of the inning, a good dish. But we're all set to go now. So Cusack with a 1-1 count. Copeland with the pitch lined up to shortstop. Benson fires over to Stone for out number three, and the Hoosiers get out 
unscathed. With assumptions, you never know. 2-0, lined up into, over, picked up, what a grab by Cusack to fire it over to Gerardo over at first base for the first out. She took a big slide there. 0-1 oh, from Salo. Cut over, drops behind into the outfield grass behind second base, and Copeland will record a single for the Hoosiers, gets on base here in the bottom of the third inning. Now who singled in her first at bat? Oh, back in the first inning. Stands in now. The junior playing left field, takes a hack right back to Salo, turns and fires over to second base and over to first for the double play to get out of the inning. That's some good heads up play by Cusack once again to keep the Hoosiers from threatening too much after Copeland gets on base. They hold the 1-0 lead. Finish that season with a 3.02 ERA as this ball's lined out into the gap and Aaliyah Andrews with a diving catch. Oh my goodness. No fly zone for Aaliyah Andrews. Add that to her. And we'll do the 3-2 once again. Skied out into left field, drifting down the line, just foul. Oh, and the umpire will call it a home run. Over the foul pole, Emmy Wells puts the Badgers up 2-0 in the fourth inning. That'll be her 12th home run of the season. If it stands, give her the big hat, the power bat of Emmy Wells. We were talking about it. Were we going to see it, Amanda? Yeah, we just yeah. saw it. We give her the chain. Look at this. She takes a nice fastball and swings it right over the left field, carrying with the wind. Emmy Wells, you know, I would say hats off. Chopper over incoming Andrews and over to make the grab is Ali Van Brandt. Out in shallow right field for out number two. So good for the Hoosiers to bounce back, get a quick second out. Breath a little bit. Twice in this game, she's given up home runs. She's been in this position before, but you can't give up a walk and continue this Wisconsin offensive route here in the top of the fourth. And in her first appearance. And she lines this one, and it'll get through the gap. Over to Andrews in right field, picks it up, fires over to third as Bannon dives in safely, and Bark will head over into second with a stand-up double, advancing on the throw. And so very quickly, two more runners in scoring position. Skies this one, drifting over to make the grab in foul territory is Sarah Stone. So the Hoosiers record the third out. The Badgers strand two runners on, but they do get another run on the board going in the first place. Frio pitch. Taken ball four on the outside edge, and there you go for Indiana. Way to start off the bottom of the fourth. Free bases or bases. I love that reaction. From All it takes is one pitch for this Indiana lineup to come up clutch. Avery Parker lines this one over to Ellie Hubbard, flips to Shortstop over at second and then called safe at first is Parker. She made the run down the line at first. Allie Van Brandt now standing in. Takes a hack, picked up by the third baseman, fired over to first. Very quick, quick start, quick pitch, quick out. There is in the bat itself. 2-1. Parker runs and steals, caught. Emmy Wells with the throw, Ava Cusack with the tag, and Parker heads back to the dugout. Two outs now here in the bottom of the fourth. Hello. And it gets past Cusack. And it's bobbled a little bit by Bark, but she'll get a handle on it. So Cora Bassett comes through. 3-0. She and she takes it ball four. Hoosiers have the bases loaded with Alex Cooper coming up to bat. Salo during that at bat was trying to pitch low in the zone to force a ground. And the 0-2, cutting the miss by Alex Cooper. Gabby Salo gets it done for the Badgers. Forces the Hoosiers to strand three runners. And the Badgers hold on to their 2-0 lead. Foul pole. As Skyler Sardashi now steps in, Sun peeking back out. Chopper over to third base, picked up easily, thrown over. Two first for out number one here in the top of the fifth inning. Good play from. 
3-1 from Copeland, low in the dirt, and Gerardo will head down to first base with a walk. Copeland's it's over there. Oh yeah, you gotta enjoy the music. That pitch bounces off Parker's glove, and the throw down to Benson over at second is not in time, and Linklater will advance. Very talented athlete, takes this one for ball four as it bounces in the dirt, and the throw over to Cooper at third base, she got her. What a throw from Avery Parker, what a heads up play for the Hoosiers as they now have two outs on the board. And the call is confirmed. Copeland with the 1-0. Lined out into center back. And Kettleman cannot make the grab. It bounces up against the wall. She throws it in. Rounding third into home. Is Cusack sliding in safe? And the Badgers put another run up on the board. Blomberg clapping over at second. She records a stand-up double. Great take by Blomberg there, just sending it sky high, letting it carry over the head of. Again, if you have them, if you have those challenges as a coach, I don't blame you for trying to go to the monitor. Emmy Wells, left field, once again, home run. And the Badgers take a 5 nothing lead over Indiana. In the fifth inning, Emmy Wells, have yourself a night. Now you see why those reviews are so important as she gets the big hat. It looks like she just took it off. You know, she just took it off. Now she's got it back on, takes this ball right over the center of the plate and sends it for a moonshot. Emmy Wells, 15 home run of the season here. She's got the big hat back on again. And that's why you see why runners on the bases are so important. Liner back to Montgomery, fires it over to Stone at first base for an easy third out. So Macy Montgomery comes in, retires the first batter she faced here for some Friday night softball. As a broadcaster, the control room means the absolute most as Brooke Benson lines one into the gap, into center field, gets on base quickly for the Hoosiers to get things going here in the people, including Emma sitting right to my right. Now Brianna Copeland steps in and lines one almost in that exact same spot as Benson and she gets over to first. Benson rounding into third, standing up safely. Copeland with a big lead off first, but gonna head back. So two very, very quick hits. Field respectively, the way those balls were hit. Getting right up in their eyesight. And this one, a liner over into right field in between the first baseman and second baseman and a run will score for the Hoosiers. They get on the board, courtesy of Taylor Minnick. Who else but Taylor Minnick when you talk about it as her 51st RBI? Like you mentioned earlier in the game, Emma. Not many players with no gloves. Chopper over to shortstop, picked up by Cusack, and she has nowhere to go with it. And Stone reaches first base safely. The Hoosiers staying patient, playing small ball, and things are working. No batting gloves, no. The sophomore catcher with a lot of experience under her belt already. Chopper over to Cusack once again, picks up fires over to first for the first out, but Copeland will come across to score. And the Hoosiers put another run up on the board. Good position. So we've got one out now. Ali Van Brandt up to the plate. Two runners on. Once again, Cusack grabs the ball and once again fires over to first. This time, all runners stay put. Taylor Minnick stays on third. And Ali Van Brandt heads back to the dugout. Play control with a one-two count. And she fires it in, laced out to right field. Charging back on it is Brooke Kuffel, and she makes the snag for out number three. So the Hoosiers strand two, but they also bring two across. The sport's all about superstitions, so can't blame her. Pop up, Benson over at shortstop, makes the grab. Easily, easily retires Bannon for out one here in the top of the six. Great play by Benson, but an even better pitch by Macy Montgomery. You know, she has a real... Worthy ...that we're roommates and we barely saw each other this week. Liner, picked up by Benson, makes the grab, fires over to Stone, not in time. Bark will stay at first with a single, a nice snag 
by Benson, but Grafter 7.30 here in Bloomington. Liner out to left, back is Minnick. On the warning track, makes the grab by the fence for out number two. And Bark will stay. Here's a freshman, now she's stepping in as the number one catcher. She has to see a lot of pitchers and catch for them. She's done a really great job. And a swing and a miss. Macy Montgomery retires Skyler Serdashny. And the Badgers leave one stranded for Indiana. Expect lots of people around. Salos fires this one in. Liner over to second base, picked up by Hubbard, and she can't get the grip on it. And Andrews will get a single. And 1-1 one, one from Salo. High fly ball out into left field. Olivia Bart has a beat on it, makes the throw. Back in, Andrews staying at first base. That'll be the first out for the Hoosiers here in the bottom of the sixth. Good tonight. Goes for a bunt, bounces off the plate. And Andrews moved around all the way over to third base. But Benson coming back. They'll play that one over. Bounce. Two one bounces in front of the plate. Andrews with a big jump off first base and she makes the steal to second. Wells tried to throw over to first but Andrews was far enough off that she just Headed right over to second, not even a throw. Call it quick thinking or a little bit of luck. Just like they did last inning as they trail 5-2 to the Badgers here on this Friday night matchup. 3-2, out to left field. Back is Bark, back and gone! Brooke Benson, two-run home run. And Indiana is back in this game. Just like that, Brooke Benson answers the call. She slams it down, and she sends this one out of the park for another home run on the season. You talk about RBI leaders. What a crucial moment for Brooke Benson to get another RBI to cut into this Wisconsin lead all of a sudden. Lived here for almost four years now, so. 1-0 from Salo, liner out to center, it'll get down and up against the wall. Copeland rounding first, heading into second, dives in safely, no throw, and Brianna Copeland has a double for the Hoosiers. What a powerful hit off of the bat from Copeland, and what a moment to do it. Continues this Indiana lineup. Roll a one pitch to Minnick. Liner out into center, back is Bannon, makes the grab near the warning track, Copeland tags up, dives headfirst into third base, safe. And the crowd is loving it. Hoosiers with two outs, but they've got a runner. Two outs. Hoosiers down by one, the tying run is Brianna Copeland on third base here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Salo gets the pitch. Chopper over to first base, snagged by Gerardo. Easy play there, great reflexes by the Badger first baseman to keep the Hoosiers from tying this game up. But they're just within one run as we head into the top of the seventh. Gerardo walked in her last plate appearance, and you mentioned Emma, that home run she had in her first plate appearance, and she lines this one back out into left field, easily tracked by Minnick to record the first out of the top of the seventh inning here. Minnick has had a very active day in the left field. Really resilient left fielder out there from Bloomington, Indiana. 21 year old adult would be inclined to share I was, a free drink. I was going to ask, I don't think you would share a free drink, so. I'm not very generous. <laughs> and we love you anyway. 2 2, high pop up. Calling for it is Benson, and she makes the grab to record the second out about her because she's got two home runs on the night. Whole lot of power. Skied out into right. Backing up on it is Van Brandt and she makes the grab avoiding Andrews out there who almost quite ran into her but didn't. So that'll make it 
5-4 as we head into the bottom of the seventh. Who's and it's something that Indiana has not really adjusted to. Parker skies this one up. Moving over is Cusack. She calls for it and makes the grab in the shallow center field area to retire Parker for the first out here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Cusack's feeling it. She's talking to her team. In March. Since then, she's continuously pitched two inning affairs where the Badgers have really been relying on their ace, Men Menyamo, but Salo here in the circle. This one skied out into left field, and it gets past the left fielder, takes a tumble on the warning track, and Van Brandt heads into second base standing with a double, trying to get things going for the Hoosiers here in the bottom of the seventh. On the outside edge, ball four. And Cora Bassett takes her base. And we've got two runners on now for Aaliyah Andrews. And those pitches from Salo. They'll throw it across the plate. 1-0 pitch to Andrews. She shows butt, gets it down, picked up by Salo, looks at third and does not throw over to first. Aaliyah Andrews with the bunt to advance both runners and everyone is safe. The bases are loaded for the Hoosiers. Bottom of the seventh on this Friday night, Indiana looking to get it done, get the weekend off to a good start. Infield moving in. Cooper lines it out to left field and drop, oh, hit it, hit the fence. Coming around to score is Bassett and that will be the winning run for Indiana. The Hoosiers walk it off. Have a day, Alex Cooper, the freshman, comes through in the biggest spot and gets it done for Indiana. What a game for the Hoosiers. Coming back from a 5-0 deficit and they walk it off. Six to five. Indiana faithful get to know the name Alex Cooper. She makes Salo throw it across the plate, finds the gap, it hits the wall. And again, another walk off for in Indiana. And again, it's freshman Alex Cooper from just up the road, Mooresville, Indiana, the Indiana kid, getting it done for the Indiana Hoosiers. And how about that? Comeback fashion once again. They did it against Notre Dame. They take a game against Wisconsin. But if you're Wisconsin, you really got to applaud yourself. What a performance against a powerful Indiana lineup. Had them staggering until that fifth inning, Amanda, but the Hoosiers, they can celebrate. They take game one for the seniors on this senior weekend. The last home series of the season. What a night for the Hoosiers. Head coach Shonda Stanton talked about how resilient this team is to be able to come back. And they've been able to do it tonight as the, as the fans and the crowd